Hey guys, welcome back to the Bubbly Pets channel. I'm Isla, and today I'm going to show you guys how I use the Python water siphon for doing water changes. Some of you may be familiar with water siphons because they're used for doing water changes in your aquariums. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Python water siphon is a large hose which can be used to make water changes much more quick and easier for you, especially if you have large fish tanks. Normal siphons usually are small. You connect them to the tank, you activate them, and the water flows into a bucket. And then you have to carry those buckets, those heavy water buckets, all the way to a sink or a bathtub to dump out the water. And then you repeat the process. That is so tiring, but the Python makes things so much easier for you. You connect it to your fish tank and then you are able to hook it up to your sink faucet and you can drain the water directly into the sink. All right, now I'm gonna go show you guys how to use the Python. Okay guys, here's the python hose. First we're going to take this end and take it and put it into your fish tank. Now untangle your hose and start walking to your bathroom. We're going to be using this end. While we do our water change, we don't need to turn off any filters or anything. You guys can keep them running and everything will be fine as long as you don't let your water level dip below the intake valves of the filter. Make sure there's not any tangles that will cut off the water flow. Make sure your hose is long enough to reach to your nearest sink. In this case, it's my bathroom. Once you're at the sink, this part, you have to remove it so that we can attach this part onto the sink. So first, let's unscrew this from the green part. Set that aside. Now we're going to unscrew this part of the faucet, turn it towards your right, and it should become loosened. Then set that aside. Take the attachment here. Now we're going to screw this onto where that part of the faucet was. So try to get it to fit and then turn it towards your left. Okay, once you have that screwed in and it's tight, take the green part. Now this part can actually loosen and like fall off. So make sure you turn it, just turn it so that's tightened. And then we are going to have to attach it to that part that we just screwed in and then tighten it onto that. Make sure it's all tight or else you'll have leaks. Now, this part down here, you twist it up and you close it. That's for when you are filling up the tank. So we're going to be doing a water change. So we're gonna make sure that this is loose and open. And now turn your faucet to the cold water setting all the way and turn it on. This will pull the water from the fish tank to your sink. Now it's completely flowing through. You can leave it like this but personally, it wastes a lot of water. So once I make sure that it's, the water has been able to flow through and be suctioned up, I turn off the faucet, I quickly unscrew this green part, and then I move it to the tub. Make sure the thing is open, make sure you have it, and you put it down like that, and make sure the water is able to flow, start flowing through strongly. Then you'll know that it's working, and then no water will be wasted through this method. How high your tank is in relation to the sink will affect how readily the water flows through the hosing when you shut off the faucet. Since my tank is on the floor, I have to transfer the hose to the bathtub to get the water to continue flowing after I've turned off the faucet. Now we're going to return back to the fish tank. 
Okay, we're back at the fish tank and if you're just doing a basic water change, you're not cleaning the gravel, you can leave it like this until your desired amount of water is out. I usually like to take 50% of the water out when I do my water changes, usually weekly. But since there's a bunch of goldfish in here, I always do a gravel siphoning. So we are going to pull down, make sure you have enough hose. Pull down the top until you're able to get to the gravel. Leave it for a few seconds in each spot. You will see poop and debris being carried up and then you can just let it go and then go back to another spot and keep doing this until you cover the entire tank. This process may take around 30 minutes. Don't rush, take your time, or else you might kick up all the debris and poop and scatter into the water. We don't want that to happen. And we're only going to take out around 50% of the water because we don't want to take out too much or else you'll mess up the biological balance of the water. Okay, when you have taken out as much water as you want, you're going to go back to the sink. Flash back to the video. So now we're going to get ready to fill the tank back up. So you can just pick it up. It'll basically stop flowing out. Then we're going to move it back to the sink and screw it back on to that part. Make sure you screw it in tight. Now this part down here, we're going to close it. And then adjust your faucet to the right temperature level that you think it is going to be for the fish tank. And turn it on. Now going back to the fish tank. Okay, once you're back at the fish tank, put in your water dechlorinator for the right amount. Put it where you're putting the new water in. Then you'll be good. Make sure you keep an eye on the water and the temperature. If it's too hot, too cold, you can adjust it. Okay, when, it's, when your tank is filled up to your desired height, turn off the faucet. And then unscrew this. And then unhook well, not unhook. Unscrew this and this. Reattach it so you will not lose it. And then put, make sure you put the part of your sink back. Then the extra water that is in the pipe. Now with the extra water that's in the hose as your Rolling up your hose to store it. Okay, just keep rolling it. Make sure the water is flowing into the tank. Make sure all the water is out of the hose. And then you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on that notification bell so you won't miss any future uploads from me about animal care. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like. I appreciate all your guys' support. If you'd like to support my channel, I added a bunch of links in the description box below. Thank you for all your support. Bye guys, see you in my next video!